So, lover or hater, there's no denying she has been a brilliant housemate. And for that, we salute her. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Charlie! <laughs> Charlie, how are you? Mm. Wow, I've been looking forward to this. Oh, and me. <laughs> oh, key notes. Uh, 38 hours to reflect since Friday night's eviction. How are you feeling now? Oh, mad. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to be out, don't get me wrong, mm -hmm. sort of thing. But um, it was getting a bit dull. <laughs> Do you know but what I mean? As in, how are you feeling, like, like since the reaction since you've been out and, and how you behaved in the house? How, have you sort of had time to reflect on that at all? Um... A bit. I've just been really tired, to be honest with you, because like I got out and everything, and then it's just been mayhem, to be honest with you. But I'm feeling good, yeah. I'm glad to be out. And what can I say? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> so the moment you stepped out of the car and launched tonight, to the moment you're evicted, the crowd have been chanting, "Get Charlie out." <laughs> Why do you think that was? Um, I don't know. Probably because I kept it real. Do you have? Do you sort of have moments of self-reflection? Do you actually stop yourself and go? Actually, what am I saying here? Am I, am I saying the right thing in this in this circumstance in this scenario? Because oh, you have to understand, what we've seen of you is a lot of arguing for however many weeks you're in. There. I know. I guess I need anger management. Do you seriously so think that, you... or are you just saying it flippantly? No, I think I may do. Um, maybe, yeah. I, well, I don't know. I mean, I'm not usually this argumentative and stuff, but you know, they brought out the worst side of me big time. And you know, I just sometimes I just thought it's too Brady bunching for me. No, and... I buy that. Even if I buy that, the thing is though, it's not like you saw Jerry arguing all the time or you saw Ziggy arguing all the time. It was like you arguing with different people all the time. I know. They just you know kept being horrible to me and stuff. I just couldn't help it. <laughs> and... Oh come on! Honestly, oh, I found myself struggling in that house. I was a victim of crime. I tell you what though, <laughs> the way I see it is, it's just you know, um, I hate to say it, but they just took the piss out of me basically, and. Um, it's just a case of, I don't know why I argue with so many people, I just don't understand it, it's still myself. I did, at the beginning of the show, find myself arguing a little bit. Did and not you I... think you were in the wrong most of the time when you were arguing? Maybe a little bit. Oh, come on, Charlie! OK, uh, just a little bit, yeah. No, a bit, yeah, actually I did. And you know what, I did cry after every argument and I was a bit upset and very emotionally breaking down and stuff like that. But I was a bit like, um, you know, um, each time I said something, I would think before I said it and think, shush, Charlie. Then it just would pain my head so much. The thing was, so though, your pride got the better of you every single time you had an argument. Because you, 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 know, you say you regretted it, and you did, but then you could, you could almost see the moments when you just go, red rag would come up and you'd go, right, but another thing was, don't you, have, don't, don't you think to yourself sometimes, I've got to stop that, because that's not a nice characteristic. Yeah, oh, defo. I was like, Charlie, shut up and stop being like that. But then they just bugged me so much. But didn't you care how... You made them feel? Yeah, I did so much. Did you? I did really bad, yeah. I'd sit and think to myself, oh, God, I really make them feel bad. But at the same time, it just... I don't believe that. Oh, it's so true, honestly. And, you know, I hate to say, but I didn't what? want them to say... They used to say, the Charlie and Extra show, because they were trying to take the piss, basically, saying, because it's me, 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 and more me. But I didn't do it on purpose. I generally didn't know I was talking about myself so much. No, but didn't you... Like, when you made them feel really, really bad, and we're going to have a little look at it now, mm. didn't you feel awful about that? Yeah, really bad. I don't believe you! Because oh, you're smiling so... now! No, 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 I'm not smiling. I'm smiling because, like, why the hell was I so hated? I can't work out why. Oh. No, honestly, guys, I mean, God, do you know what I mean? And stuff like that. And I'm not being funny, but I didn't do that bad to them for them to hate me so okay, much. Okay, one, was... we we one, one thing we want to pick up on, um, it was like the aftermath of one of the arguments that you had, a particular hour, it was with Brian. Take a look at this. <laughs> Like, it started out, like, it's like she was the one, like, backing me in the corner and because I didn't agree with her. And because I went against what she thought, she sort of, like, started, like, keeping on going at me. She said, you're shouting. I wasn't shouting. And she pushed me to the point where I thought to myself, well, if she wants me to shout, then I'll show her shouting compared to me being calm. Or trying to be calm, at least. And, um, she always pushed me to the point where I was just angry because I thought she was my friend. And a friend would treat something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 20 years old, I swear I'd never cried in this house if it was so stupid. No, I'm a bloke, I'm not supposed to cry. And she just pushed me to the point where and I feel bad for arguing with a woman again in this house. And I thought she was my friend, and she just wasn't. Now, before you say anything, right, as in... Yeah, but the thing about that was, don't 
Don't, let, me, let me see that. And the thing is, Brian, out of everyone in there, mm. because... It goes know, to my heart, it really does. Exactly. I never saw that, and I never knew he cried. It was just a case of I come back in the house and trying to behave, you know, for myself and for those who probably want to see if there's a change in me, and there was a change. I didn't have barely that many arguments, and I was kind of like, let's not pick the arguments with me, because I'm going to bust here, mm -hmm. you know? But, and I kept it cool. But no, you didn't. Well, he was in my face, he's like, do you have a Johnny? I know, no, no, all right, fair like, enough. Hey, hey, I'm, hey, I'm not saying please. it, it's not, it's, not, it's not totally one-sided, but so with Brian, I, watching you, there would be times when... Brian really looked up to you as, almost as a big sister, mm. and there were times when you, like, you hugged him in the bedroom, and suddenly you, you, you sort of just went, oh, you, uh, you know, and I saw the smile, and so it was hit, come here, Brian, and suddenly as a viewer, you're like, oh, that's the Charlie we want to see, you know? Mm. And when you see how you upset people, does that not make you feel awful? Yeah, I feel more than like, awful. Especially with Brian. I bet, honestly... Because it's fine to have disagreements with other people babe, in the house. trust me, I felt it for the guy. I never saw him cry, and I never knew. Someone did kind of say he cried in that, and I was upset, but the thing it was, you know... I don't want to go too much on Emily because it's nothing that I want to talk about. But, you know, stuff like, um, he's saying that Chanel one that has been telling stuff. Chanel's going to say that because she jumped in bed to Siki with a phone on after two days. So, you know, that's why Chanel didn't like Emily because Emily told her how it is, you know, laid out how it is. But, obviously, I don't want to argue with Brian. I actually did say to him, you know, a few days before and after, you're like a brother to me, Brian. You're younger than me. And, you know, he, he's... No, but what you got to offset is, even though you're saying that, and even if I believe you are saying it, and you mean that, which I do. Oh, I do. You can't then say, you're an idiot, you look at you, you look stupid, because those things really hurt people. I know. But you've got to understand, you ain't seeing the full picture of it, you know. What I'm trying to explain to people is what they don't understand. Rather than me getting labelled as the bitch, fair play. But at the same time, it's kind of like, well, if anyone could see, they were trying to pick on, they were kind of picking on me in a small way. And I also will say, the same fact is... He laughs at me to try and make Siggy and Shino laugh, and that made me feel pathetic, okay. because I'm sticking up for the guy. I would sit and talk to him. He was down a lot more than he was up, and I said, Brian, you know what? Get your ass out of your head, babe, and enjoy your time. You're here. You're a wicked guy. You're smart. But he done things... OK, obviously, we can't have that sort of language, so apologies for that at home. But, uh, listen, I want to see ha how um, your reaction, or your departures reacted uh, with the housemates. Take a look. Love or hate us, this is what, this is what changed the house completely. More than anyone. You've been telling me all week how much you're his wife. I can't stand her! So I was, I was like, it doesn't, mean I it doesn't mean I don't like her. But I just thought it was weird. I don't think she deserves that. So I hope public opinion has changed a bit, because I think, I think Charlie showed a different side of herself. She still had the argumentative bit when she was dealing with Brian, unfortunately. Um, but she lost her spark. No shrill sound of South East London it girl. No bellowing of I'm not being funny, but then she is being funny. <sighs> no anything with Charlie's voice attached to it. It's amazing. <laughs> All right, take Chanel away from that, because obviously you, you and her didn't get on, and that's no. fine, yeah? But how do you feel about watching that, Brian? Do you think Brian will miss you a little bit? Oh, yeah, of course he will. I think they're all going to miss me. Whether they, I got on their nerves and all that, which I probably did, but, I mean, come on, I mean, you know, who couldn't... I am the sort of girl you love to hate, and I'm not being funny. As much as I could have been a bit horrible and stuff to everyone, which I didn't mean, and I am upset, I'm not taking the pee, I am generally upset about the whole thing about it. You know, I wish I went in there a little bit more and was a bit more calmer and that. I just couldn't help it sometimes. Yeah. They're little voices, Chanel's, you know? Well, I could see that. OK, listen, did you have a game plan and what was your game plan? I didn't have a game plan. Well, when you went back in, because a lot of people kept saying to, saying to me, the thing about Charlie, is, is she oblivious to that kind of crowd thing or is she playing that? And I just, What I, do you mean crowd thing? That whole, when, when you went back in and the crowd was sort of booing. Oh, I loved it. I know you It was did. my way of getting them back. I know, but you played that, right? Well, I, I played it, yeah, but it wasn't a game plan. Oh, well, kind of then, I'd be lying. It wasn't so much game plan. It got me two weeks more in the house, exactly. which I loved. But I didn't do it on purpose. I'd done it to get them back. I went in to know the crowd loved me and, you know, uh, you know, they, they were wearing my T-shirts and stuff like that. I thought, and I did say that, you know, I saw things with people's heads on it and, oh, I don't like this person. Now. But it was my way of getting revenge. I mean, the day I darted back down them says, I thought, I'm going to say, you are out of order. You, I cannot believe you've done that behind my back. But then I thought, nah, I'm going to do a different thing. Yeah. So I thought before that light went from red to green, that's what I was going to do. OK, because the thing is, I mean, you were, I mean, you're a street smart girl, you know, and you, you're probably one of the smartest housemates in there in terms of being able to play people. Did you do any of that or not? I don't know about playing people, no. Okay. I couldn't do it. They'd play me at my own game. They were all so... Each other's... 
you know, whatever. What about and... being nice before nominations? Because you said you did that. Oh, I did, yeah. <laughs> you know what, Jerry? I'm so upset and emotional that I just don't want to go back to my life and that it's not fair. And he was like, oh, pretty, pretty, you, you know, you know, and all that. And I was like, but Jerry and stuff like that. And then I'd go up to Jonathan and whoever else and I was like, oh, do you think that blah, blah, blah. I had a little bit of that going on. I mean, everyone did, but cool. I just played it maybe in a smarter way. I OK, hope. listen, more from you all this week, I sincerely hope. For now, thank you very much. Charlie, everyone. <laughs>